Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading for June 2020. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Scorpio. Knock my deck a little bit. So um, I started to do your reading and then um, Siri thought that I wanted to talk to him because I have a male Australian voice as mine. <laughs> Fun fact, I like Australian accents. Um, I don't know why I didn't say that name and I was a little fearful just now when I said it that he would pop up, but he didn't. So I took that as I needed to start over. Just didn't feel right. So let's try this again. <laughs> Welcome Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hopefully this resonates for you, but um, I always encourage you to take a look at the other placements in your chart just to get a more complete picture. Maybe it resonates a little bit more for you. Also, the general collective June reading um, is up on the channel, so check that out as well if you have not already. Scorpio. So I am using the Thelema Tarot for your um, general spread and then I have a couple other decks here that we'll clarify with. Be interesting to see if any of the same cards or energy pops out for you. I just took it as it wasn't the right message to come out right now. All right, June 2020. Certainly been off to an interesting start, hasn't it? But 2020 has proven to be interesting in itself, so I'm not surprised. Happy Pride Month to those of you who are celebrating. I celebrate with you. I am going live here on YouTube on Friday um, in honor of the Sagittarius full moon eclipse. Quite intense energy. 8 p.m. Eastern time right here. It's my first one, so please be patient with me. I usually go live on Facebook. Um, you'll see some of my lives are posted here on the channel. And well, technology is great when it works and these energies have just been wreaking havoc for me. And I think uh, later this month, Mercury goes retrograde, so there's that. Scorpio. All of my information is in the description box below. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Happy to have you. You can follow me on social media as well. And um, also my email is down there if you would like to book your own private session, as well as my website. I need to do better about the blogs. <laughs> I'm a few behind, so hopefully I'll be writing next week. Should have some more time to do that. One more for Scorpio. Nice, nice clear shuffle there at the end. Overall energy for the month of June, four of cups in reverse, not a bad thing. King of cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles, right in the middle. Nine of Swords, don't panic. <laughs> and the Emperor, reversed. So the Four of Cups, when it's upright, it looks like this. It's about complacency, stagnant energy, so it being in reverse is a good thing. Getting out of that. King of Cups, when it's upright, that's you. Um, could also be dealing with another Cancer Pis or Pisces or Scorpio. In reverse. Um, the energy just in itself, see how he's balancing that cup with one hand, um, with court cards, kings and queens being masters of their suit. Gender is irrelevant. It's just the energy. Um, so he, and I just say he because it's the king, he is um, very balanced in his emotions. And with it being in reverse, it could be um, that you're moving away or someone is moving away that is a water sign, or it could just be that you're getting out you're, you're out of balance with your emotions right now. Page of Pentacles upright, right in the middle. Pages are messengers. Could be a younger earth sign. Um, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. 
Otherwise, the energy is just, um, pentacles are our material world stuff, our money. So you could be getting a message about money. Or it could just be slower because pentacles are the more slow moving of the energies. Nine of swords, that's my nightmare card. Staying up at night or getting woken up in the middle of the night with racing thoughts, panic, anxiety, all of that yuck. The emperor, when it's upright, uh, could be an Aries that you're dealing with because that's associated with the sign of Aries. Otherwise, um, could uh, just be, the, he's all of the kings combined, usually very uh, balanced, but just like every card has shadow and light to it. The shadow side is someone who's overbearing. It's a father figure, so um, you could have issues with someone who's a father figure or a boss. Um, so when it's in reverse, we'll see that energy could go a few different ways. I'm going to use my tarot of the night. Let's clarify. We'll start with the Four of Cups for your overall energy. Swords, Pentacles, Cups. Okay, so we don't have any wands. We have one major arcana with the Emperor. Two court cards. Page and King here. Pentacles and Cups respectively. four cards here guys you got four when I did the previous one and I started to clarify your top card which I don't remember what it was now but you got four cards and that's just interesting so we've got the nine of cups in reverse so there it is she's beautiful upright but in reverse that's typically a wish is fulfilled um, coming to fruition so Maybe something didn't quite pan out the way that you were wanting or hoping. Um, so you're getting out of, you're walking away from it. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning, um, divine gift. With it being Pentacles, it could be um, work related. It could just be um, something that's in the material world here. We'll see. Queen of Wands in reverse. So when she's upright, she looks like this beautiful card. I love this card. So this is, could be a fire sign, um, with it being wands, Leo, Sag, or Aries. Again, Aries. So if you are dealing with somebody who's an Aries, um, one of the major placements in their chart is Aries. Significant here. Um, otherwise her energy is just, she's very passionate. She's very flamboyant and showy. Um, she goes after what she wants. So in reverse, the converse energy. Seven of Swords. So she is like fleeing away. And typically this is about um, deception, taking what's not theirs. I'm trying to see what she has in her hand. I don't know if it's a rose or if it's a heart. Um, but whatever it is, she is running away. So with that walking away energy, even though this is a Four of Cups and not Eight, um, getting out of stagnant energy. So you could be moving away from an Aries, another fire sign, or a water sign. But you're getting out of this, this stagnant energy. You might be running for the hills out of that stagnant energy. It's like, let me go. And towards this new beginning. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, King of Cups in reverse. Again, that could just be you since you're a water sign, could be your energy. You could be dealing with another water sign. Could be relationship, could be career, could be in a family dynamic. Maybe just feeling unbalanced. Five 
Five of Cups, Page of Swords, the Devil. Woo! All right. So um, this is causing you some grief. That's what the Five of Cups is to me. Our mermaid friend here is quite sad that that ship is moving away. So if um, you are dealing with a water sign and they're walking away or you've made a decision because it's been stagnant for so long that you're, you're moving away, then it, it could be making you not very happy. Page of Swords. So that could be um, a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, otherwise, the energy is just that of... Um, Typically, it's about spying, really. <laughs> so you or someone else could be spying on each other. Yeah, well, yeah, that too. You could be spying on each other. And not, not in like a creepy way. <laughs> Just more of a, oh, I wonder what they're up to. I mean, Scorpios, I love you, but you are rather intense. So you could be going through someone's phone or emails or eavesdropping outside of a door. If it's maybe like at work. We're looking through files. I saw that visual too. So just make sure that um, if you're on the receiving end of someone watching you, that you're dotting your I's, crossing your T's, minding your P's and Q's, all the metaphors, um, and just playing your cards right. And then here you go with the devil. Um, I personally, this is my favorite devil card. She's very sexy and seductive and very much in her power. Um, even though the devil can represent addictions or um, kind of being a slave to something or someone, maybe you're working too hard, maybe you're obsessing over this. This could be about an obsession. Take what resonates. Or someone could be obsessing about you. Just obsessive behavior in general. Um, but otherwise, she's just, she's kind of a seductress too. So it could be um, somebody's luring your person away. See how he's looking at her? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't suspect your partner all of a sudden just because of that particular version of the reading. <laughs> uh, but for some of you, it uh, could be going down. Just. Make sure everything's on the up and up. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so Page of Wands. Got two pages here. Page of Wands is much quicker energy. Could be, uh, I don't know what to do with that. We're gonna roll with it. Um, could be a younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Otherwise, it's just um, a faster energy. So that combined with this page of pentacles, you could be getting a, a quicker turn than what you thought, what you anticipated. Okay, so these are all in reverse. <laughs> so bear with me. The four of swords when it's right side up. It's about meditation, just chilling, um, taking a break, but in reverse, now it's time to move. So page of wands movement, two of wands in reverse. So that's about making a decision upright looks like this. I love that she's got a skull. <laughs> this is a, a beautiful deck, but it's very gothic. So in reverse, um, maybe you haven't quite made the decision yet and you were waiting. You were waiting. So it was more like this. You were waiting for some sort of message before you made a decision. So they're saying the time is over if you haven't already made this decision to go ahead and make it. Then the hanged man was also in reverse. So that, some people see that as Pisces. So um, otherwise it's just um, taking a new perspective pairs perfectly with the Four of Swords, still very much the same energy taking a time out, taking a pause, um, seeing things from a different perspective before you're making that decision. But in reverse, the time is now. Move. 
Nine of Swords. What is that? Oh, we got two. Okay. Oh, okay. So traditional tarot only has 78 cards between the major and minor arcanas. So this particular deck has an extra card. It's a bonus card. She does not go in any particular suit. So I'm going to show you the first card, the Hermit, up, right side up. So the Hermit is about going within and taking a look and seeing what's important to you and finding the answers within. Going into the cave, so to speak. Um, could be Dark Night of the Soul. That's what this could be. You could be going through a Dark Night of the Soul. But generally speaking, um, the Hermit is about going within and see how she's illuminating. So once you've gone within and you've taken your time out and you're seeing things from another perspective, it's time to emerge from the cave with your lantern, your lantern, lighting the way. So this is the bonus card. How beautiful is this card? I love it. I love this deck. So, um, and it's not surprising to me that I picked up this deck because Scorpios, you, I love you. You're a little bit dark. <laughs> You're quite intense and you enjoy um, that energy. And you're also represented by the death card. So I love you. I really do. Some of my best friends, my spiritual mentor is a Scorpio. My dear, if you're watching, I love you immensely. I love this deck that you gifted me. Thank you so much. I've been using it in my other readings. I just wasn't guided to for this reading, probably because of this energy, <laughs> but it's been amazing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's a Scorpio. So I love my Scorpio people, but, um, this card, she adds an extra element. She's the angel of the night. She is, um, Kind of a combination of Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, which are wishes fulfilled and um, independent woman, respectively. So she is very much um, bringing blessings and extra magic to the situation. So don't worry. She, she sees you. She sees your worry. She sees your anxiety. She sees that you're um, freaking out, <laughs> quite frankly. So just know that you're being watched over by angels and that all is well. Get one more to, to kind of flank her. The Nine of Wands and the Hermit. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is fantastic omen right there that she came out. Okay, Ace of Wands in reverse. So, when it's upright, definitely not what you would expect. <laughs> this deck does not follow traditional writer, writer, wait, Smith imagery, but that's what makes it fun. So, in reverse, um, that's like a, a new start, a new beginning. So with it being in reverse, you're not necessarily starting something new. Or maybe you've, oh, you've lost your spark. Aw, Scorpio, do you lose your spark? Don't do that. <laughs> Embrace. Embrace the magic. Oops, wrong way. Embrace the magic within yourself. Know that you can't go wrong. You got divine guidance. You're going within your cave and you're emerging. See how she's looking? She's looking. Embrace your magic. Ooh, that's what I'm going to title your video. I'm going to write that down. Embrace. hundred percent embrace your magic you have it within you become 
Become who you were meant to be. The Emperor in reverse. Wands in reverse, nine of swords again, <laughs> and the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, so here we are right side up, upside down. So the five of wands. Oh, she's not a mermaid. I was gonna say that's usually the cups. She looked, I guess, because of her bra <laughs> and her top, she looked a little mermaid ish, but. In reverse, the Five of Wands um, can be about conflict, um, but with it in reverse, that's a good thing. That means that opposite. End. Oh, I just said Five of Wands. This is Three of Wands. Hello, Three of Wands. I. <sighs> okay, scratch what I just said. <laughs> but for some of you, maybe that's true. Maybe there isn't any conflict anymore. Um, for the three of wands, the three of wands is usually about ships coming in. So, um, something like you're waiting, you're watching for your ships to come in and they're just not. Maybe that's because this emperor isn't the right person to help you bring in those, those ships. Not, oh wait, that was last. Guys, I'm all messed up. Sorry. Nine of swords. <laughs> it's been a long day. Nine of swords. Um, so it's, it's a contrast, isn't it? This is much easier energy for me to digest, but this is more traditional. So depending on your preference, um, but you got it twice. And I just did Leo's reading right before you and they got a couple cards twice over. So the other ones that I've been doing, like a, the chariot, clarified the chariot in, I think it was Libra's reading. So <laughs> we got some doubles going on. That's why I like to clarify with a, a second deck because then it gives that opportunity for things to come out or to come out in a different area. Anyway, um, same energy, same thing. Just kind of like, I don't know what to do anymore. This isn't working for me. So now the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. I love her. Uh, reverse. So the Knight of Cups, again, with it being a court card, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So that seems to be coming out. Another water sign or an Aries. So the Knight of Cups energy is about um, moving forward and Cups are emotions. So you might not you might not be all up in your feels about this, or it might have turned you away. Don't shut off your heart, but sometimes we have to protect our hearts. See how her hands are in front of her heart chakra? So in reverse, she's protecting herself. And there's nothing wrong with that, for sure. All right, so take what resonates, leave the rest. <laughs> Don't yell at me about whatever's going on if it doesn't fit for you. And if it fits for you, don't yell at me. <laughs> it just, it just is. I'm gonna pull the Divine Feminine. I love this deck by Megan Watterson. If you haven't read her books, I strongly suggest that you do. Megan Watterson with two T's and two G's. Megan with two G's, Watterson with two T's. Um, she's a Hay House author, so you can find her books there for sure. Reveal about embracing your inner divine feminine and uh, Mary Magdalene Revealed. I absolutely love that book. I love it so much that I have gifted it to others. It's just fantastic. It's all about divine feminine energy. And that is very much what we need right now. And um, a lot of the spiritual people that I've been talking to and following 
we all believe that the divine feminine is raising, rising up right now. It's the energy is coming to fruition and it's definitely what we need because we need love. We need to be in our heart chakras right now. We need to embrace our magic. All right, girls, what do we got? Queen Esther, the morning star. My ego is in service of my soul and I trust my soul's divine timing. Beautiful. So the devil's also about ego. So you can put that to the side and know that it serves your soul. The ego has a purpose. The purpose is to um, protect you and help you. But when it rages out of control, then um, it no longer is serving the soul. It's not protecting anymore. Now we're operating out of fear and that does not help anybody. So don't do that. I'm gonna butcher this. Enheduanna, the high priestess. Ooh, I love the high priestess in the major arcana. I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. See, what did I just say? Operate from a place of love. Parvati, someone else got Parvati. The goddess of devotion, I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Have me split it again. Thecla. <gasps> okay, so it, I, I just had a moment. <laughs> so in Megan's Mary Magdalene Revealed, she talks about Thecla. I had never heard. I spent so many years growing up in the church, never heard of her. This is why. Read Mary Magdalene Revealed and you will understand. Oh, I love it. Okay. So Thecla, the prophetess of true power. I call my power back from all times and places. I am my own. Yeah. Embrace your magic. 100%. Gorgeous. Okay. Well, um, on that mic drop moment, <laughs> um, I hope you all have a wonderful June. It seems like it's going to be as intense as you are, my lovely Scorpios. And um, if you have any questions or if you'd like to book your own personal reading, all of my information is in the box below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.